outcome. In Power BI, if statements are typically used to determine a course of action based upon if a condition evaluates to true, then do this, else if it evaluates to false, do this. In Power BI, there are two ways to create if statements being using Power Query or DAX. In this video, I will explore the Power Query syntax. Hi, I'm Pauline and I provide practical data skills for real world analysis. In Power BI, in Power Query, I have created a query called Films and into which I've made up some information relating to films at a cinema. There are several ways to create an if statement in Power Query. It may be that the add column, conditional column, is sufficient for your requirements. But in this video, I will walk you through creating an if statement in a custom column. I'll start with a simple example whereby if the genre is comedy, I would like to reduce the ticket price by two, else the ticket price should remain at its current value. In add column, I'll add a custom column and I will call the new column new price. Then my if statement takes the format if this condition equals true, then do this, else do this. So if I now fill in the gaps, I say if the genre equals, and inside double quote marks, I put the word comedy. I need the double quote marks as the genre is of type text. Then I would like to take the ticket price and reduce it by two, else I would like to keep the ticket price as is. Now if I click OK, I have my new column and as you can see, if the genre is comedy, the price has been reduced down to eight, with the other prices remaining unchanged. Now granted, the add column, conditional column, facility could have handled this logic for us, however, I would now like to add more conditions to the if statement and this is where the custom column route becomes more helpful. So if I open up my new price column, this time I would like to say if the genre is comedy and the age classification is none, so age classification equals and inside the quote marks again, because age classification is of type text, I type none. Now, the ticket price should only be reduced if both comedy is the genre and the age classification is none. So if I click OK, in my new price, I can now see that comedy, if it's over 15, has reverted back to 10. And in the second row, where comedy is the genre and age classification is none, my ticket price is eight. So to recap, if the condition evaluates to true, then the code in the then section runs, else if the condition evaluates to false, then the code in the else section runs. There are additional items which can be added to the if statements such as additional conditions through using else if, which adds an additional if statement within the current if statement. For example, here, I would like to increase the value of the ticket price if the genre is thriller. So after my current then statement, I can say else if the genre equals thriller, then the ticket price should be increased by two. Note that here I only need one else statement. 
despite the fact that I've effectively got two if statements because the else statement is the default for both if statements. So I'm saying that if the genre is not comedy and it's not thriller, then the ticket price should be the current ticket price. So if I click OK, and as you can see, the films of genre thriller have been increased to 12. The comedy with age classification of none has been reduced to eight, but all other ticket prices are at 10. As mentioned earlier, you can also do if then else statements using DAX and Power BI. And I'll provide a link to a video where I explain this more in this video's description. Please click the thumbs up button if you found this video helpful. Check out more of my resources in the description below and click the subscribe button to hear more data hints and tips. Thanks for watching.